First, remembering Barbara Bush, a live look right now at St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Houston, where hundreds of mourners throughout the day have been paying their respects to the former First Lady. For some people, a somber moment became a pleasant surprise when they were greeted by former President George Bush. And our Jack Fink is live in Houston today. Jack, you were able to catch up with one woman who actually got to meet him. Well, Kaylee and Ken, just put yourself into Martha Greenwood's shoes for a second. She had just walked into St. Martin's Church and was walking toward Barbara Bush's casket when all of a sudden, there he was. Former President George Bush and his daughter, Dorothy, had greeted Greenwood and other people earlier this afternoon. Greenwood said a guard had told her the president decided that he wanted to meet with well wishers and stayed for about 20 minutes. Hundreds of people lined up this morning so they could go through security and board shuttle buses for the trip over to the church. We saw a lot of women wearing pearl necklaces and the color blue to pay tribute to the former first lady. As for Martha Greenwood, she told me what she said to Mr. Bush. Um, I just shared with him, you know, my condolences and that this family has been an inspiration to me and then he just said thank you very much. Um, and he did that to everybody that came through. Um, she's just a wonderful role model, a wonderful mother, a wonderful wife. Uh, she's uh, Houston's first lady and will always be remembered. So many people repeated what he had to say today. And a lot of people are still coming here. They're going to be able to view uh, Mrs. Bush for the last time, say their goodbyes until midnight tonight. And coming up at 6 o'clock, you'll hear other reasons of what compelled people to come. Live in Houston, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. It appears so many people feel so connected there to our former First Lady. You can watch the former First Lady's funeral service in its entirety right here on CBS 11 as a special report tomorrow morning.